Hey, how's it going? It's Mike Gowans here with Oogletree.com and I'm going to be sharing with you how to get targeted traffic back to your website, to your landing page, to your social media, wherever you want them to go. I'm going to show you how to get those and I'm going to show you how to get them for free. Now a lot of you, if you're new to the traffic getting game, you might be wondering how the heck do I find people that are related to what I'm sharing or how am I going to find people that actually want what I sell? And that's a really good question because you don't want people at your website that aren't interested in what you're selling. I mean, you could be getting a lot of traffic from all over the place, but if it's not good tra traffic, if it's not targeted traffic, then it doesn't do you any good. So I'm going to share with you a very simple way how to get targeted traffic over to your website or to your landing page. So it starts out with finding out where people actually are and what you want to do is you want to think of the keywords that are related to your landing page, your industry, your niche, whatever it is, whatever you're driving traffic to, figure out the keywords that are actually related to that. And once you have those keywords, what we'll do is we'll go over to we'll go over to Google to the search engine. Let's just imagine this is the search bar here, okay? We'll make a little magnifying glass just like that. Okay. What you want to do is you want to put in your keyword in quotes right here. So whatever your keyword is, you'll put that here plus blogs. Now when you put it in quotes like this, it gets super specific for you. It's not just at random. And when you put this plus blogs, it's going to bring up any blogs that are indexed into Google with this keyword or keyword phrase, okay? You can also change this word out and you could put plus forums. This will bring you up to people in forums that are related to whatever keyword you put. And then you can get in there and start discussing things with people. And once you get familiar with the forum, then you can leave a tagline in, in the forum. Most of the forums will let you leave like a little signature line. And when you put in your signature line, hey, if you liked my comment or if you like a lot of things that we talk about here in this forum, I got a whole lot more of that back here at this link. And then you put your link there. Now, if you're an affiliate marketer, you can also put your affiliate link there and it can go straight to one of your offers. So that's one way to do that. You can find targeted forums that are in the niche or industry that you're trying to promote in or build a, you know, a brand in. And then you can get in there, provide people with some quality content, provide them with quality answers. Because when you go to a forum or you go to a blog, there's usually, well, at a blog, there's blog posts. And usually a blog post is just one subject or one point. Whatever that point is, read the blog and then gather your thoughts from it and think of what can you add as a comment below that would be of quality addition to what they talked about in the blog post. And if you provide a quality comment below, you'll build some authority there. So the other people that are going to this website looking at this blog, they're going to say, hey, this guy knows what he's talking about and there's a link to his website. I better go check it out. And now you've got somebody that's targeted, but I'm going to give you a little trick. Let's say that you go to this blog and let's say that you're in the dog training industry or niche, okay? So here's here's this, you went here and you put, let's say you put uh, teaching a dog how to sit, okay? We're going to keep it real simple. So uh, what we'll put in the search engine will be quotes, teach dog to sit plus blogs quotes, okay? That would be what you would put in the search bar and I, I don't know if that's a keyword phrase I'm just trying to keep it simple here for you but let's say that you were te teach dog to sit plus blogs in quotes and it brought up this blog right here this blog was about teaching your dog how to sit the whole blog and you went to the blog and clicked on one of the links about teaching dog to sit you clicked on it it brought open the blog page and there was the article there, maybe a picture, 
and then down here was the comments section. Now, if this blog post that you clicked on was about dog sitting techniques, and over at your website, so this is your site, over at your website, you also have a similar blog post about dog sitting techniques, okay? Or teaching a dog to sit techniques. So here's the cool thing. You can go to any blog and you can go to any blog post that they have and you can leave a comment, a quality content, a helpful content in the comments box and then have a link go back to your site or to your landing page or to your affiliate offer. But if you can get the, co the comment that you leave and the link that you leave here, if that could actually link not just to your website at random, but if it could link right to another page that is very similar to the title of this blog post, the people that are here reading this, they're already very focused on this topic, right? And they're down there leaving comments and reading comments. So their, their mind's already focused on this subject. If you can drive them from there to a page that's also talking about dog sitting techniques, you're going to get way more uh, conversions at your website. And they're going to get there and go, wow, this is, a, this is just what I was looking for. And here's more of it. And it's even better because you're going to do a better job because you're going to see what they did and you're going to do better, right? So then at your blog, you may have a link in one of your blog posts that's very similar and that link goes over here to your landing page where you collect their name and their email and then you start to email them you know quality emails and you start to slowly convert them into your sales funnel and you make sales <laughs> or you grow your audience you tell them to share it and go on and on so you can see how that works same with the forums if you're at a forums about fishing boats okay and you've got a post on your uh, blog that's about all the types of different fishing boats, then you would want to link straight to that because you're, the more targeted you can get, the better, okay? Now, here's the other thing. When you go doing this, one other thing to look out for, what you want is you want high traffic blogs. Because if you're going to a blog that nobody's visiting or you're going to a forum that nobody's visiting, then you're, there's not a lot of visitors there that can go back to your stuff. So you want to get in there and look, you know, if, if you're going to a blog and, you know, keyword specific blog, if you're going there and you see there's tons of comments, well, obviously they're getting tons of traffic, okay? If you're going to a forum and there's hardly any threads in there, there's, you know, not that many people talking and blah, 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 then, you know, it's, it's not gonna, it's not gonna do you no good. So, but here's the other thing. When you go to these forums or you go to these blogs, don't just go in there and like whack them over the head with your offers or you know my links or blah, blah, blah. It's all about getting connected first, relating to people, maybe making some cool quality posts without a link in it at all, and just kind of getting to know people. Get a feel for the form, how they talk. Get a feel for the blog, what they communicate like. How, you know, get, get in touch with what's going on once you've established yourself, once you've related to people and you've kind of gotten that, you know, comfortable feel there, then people start to see that. They see you show up more and then you can go and, you know, start saying, hey, if you want more of this, go check this out. But don't ever just be deliberate and just hammer somebody. Just you want to you want to focus on, you know, this type of scenario. And I'm going to I'm going to leave you with this. And then I got one more thing that I can share with you be a hot, hot tip for you. OK. But anything that you do online, I don't care if you're at social media, if you're on blogs, posting, no, no matter what you're doing, here is a little mental cycle that you want to keep in mind. And Gary Vaynerchuk, he, uh, go to GaryVaynerchuk.com. I'll leave a link underneath this video. Guy's awesome, crazy, cusses all the time, drops F-bombs all the time, but he's awesome. And you can see a hustler if you go to his YouTube channel and check it out. But... He wrote a book called Jab, 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 Right Hook. Actually, I got the book. Hold on. So this is his book. I'm not promoting his book. Or, well, I am promoting his book, but I'm not getting paid to promote it. But 
That's the book, Jab, 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 Right Hook, okay? And in essence, definitely get the book, great examples for social media and just different, you know, all around concepts about the, the web and the internet. But um, his whole focus in there, the jab, 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 right hook, is basically you can convert jab, 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 right hook into the idea of give, 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 ask, okay? Give, 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 ask. So this could be your blog posts, you know, uh, in your blog post, you give and you give and you give, and then at the bottom of each blog post, you ask for a call to action. You ask them to sign up to your list, go to something else, you know, whatever. Comment below. In social media, if this is your social media, and let's say that uh, this is the, the day of the week right here, it's give, 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 and then maybe on Friday you ask them to go check something out. If it's during the day, Okay, so 12, 6, 9, and 3. If you're, if you're posting posts, let's say you post at 7, then you post at 11, then you post at 3, and then you, let's see, what else would you post at? 7, 11, 3, and 7 again, okay? So we'll put it as another thing here. In that scenario, what you want to do is you want to give, 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 and then maybe ask at seven, or you can move that around however you want to do it. But if you provide a bunch of goodwill first, you get people on your side. They start trusting you, they start liking you, and then they go ahead and check your stuff out. Now, here's the next tip I want to give you. Go check out that book, whatever. You buy it if you want to or not. That's, you know, there's a lot of good stuff in there. Here's the next thing. If you want to figure out, if you don't want to go out there and be digging around all these blogs, what happens here is, Google indexes all these forums and all these blogs and it's all just packed deep into their search engine. What you can do is go to Google Alerts. All right, let me use a different color here. So, Google Alerts. If you go to Google Alerts, go there with all your keyword phrases that your blog's about, your product's about, your brand's about, and you can go to Google Alerts and set up these alerts with your email. You you have a Google account first, go set up a Gmail account. But then at Google Alerts, you can put in a keyword phrase. Like for me, I would put like online entrepreneurship. And anything that is getting newly posted to Google or coming up new in the news and videos and anything, Google sends me an alert and says, hey, here's a new article about that. Here's a new video that came out about that keyword phrase. Here's a new uh, blog post or whatever. And when that comes up, what I can do is I can go check it out and I can leave a comment. I can get involved with the conversation and that's where my targeted audience is. And if I do enough, good enough job giving, 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 then I can ask them to come back to my site and check it out. And then that's where I'll capture their email address. And then once I got their email, they go into the, the sales funnel, right? And then in the sales funnel, it's give, 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 and then ask. And that's how you sell things online. So, all right, anyways, that's enough for this. I just, hopefully that helps you. Hopefully that shows you how to get some cool traffic, some targeted traffic. And you know, if this video helped you and you're watching this anywhere else other than at my blog over at oogletree.com, then go over there, comment, tell me, tell me what you liked about this. Give me some feedback. Give me good feedback or give me bad feedback. I don't care, just leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on. Get involved with the game here. I want to help you as much as I can. But that's it for this blog post. I look forward to seeing you here again. And uh, until then, you know, I'm super glad that you have chosen to do your own thing online and become an entrepreneur. So go out there and get it. My name is Mike Gallons, and I'll talk to you soon.